Hello, I'm Dr. Pankyu, and I'm your instructor in this course, Basic Human Structure. In this video, I would like to talk about the unit exams that you'll be taking this semester, as well as something new, which is the diagram exams. Let's go here to the learning units where you'll find these exams, and you'll see that for each unit there are exams. Most units are going to have one exam per chapter. The first unit and the last unit will actually have two chapters per exam. There are two exams in the first unit and only one exam in the last unit. So you can see your, your first unit exams are due on September the 22nd. And as I explained in an earlier video, I would not try to take those exams both on September the 22nd. Uh, I would spread out your learning throughout the entire unit. You have from the 29th of August until the 22nd of September in order to finish this unit. So let's go into this unit and see where we find the exams. I'm going to scroll down. And here you'll see Unit 1 exams. There are two exams that are going to launch in the Connect website. You're also going to find one exam that launches in Blackboard itself, and you're going to be using Respondus Lockdown Browser with Respondus Monitor in order to take this exam. Very recently, the college completed a Middle States visit, and during the Middle States visit, the visit there was concern that BC3 wasn't adequately identifying the students that were taking their online courses. That's to say that we weren't 100% sure that the person that was sitting at the computer taking the exam was actually uh, the person th th that they said they were. So in order to show to middle states, I'm having a thunderstorm here while I'm recording this. In order to show to middle states that it is indeed you taking the exam, this semester you will be taking diagram exams. The diagram exams are going to be the diagrams that you see in your, your textbook. I'll explain about those in just a moment. So there are two chapter exams in Unit 1, and both of these are going to launch in Connect. So when you click on this, make sure you're ready to do it because you only have one chance. If you run into a problem, just let me know. I can reset it for you. The way these exams are is every student in the course gets a different exam because the questions are drawn from a pool. So when you click this, it's going to take you launching into McGraw-Hill's browser. And you want to do it this way. That way it logs into your gradebook. And I'm seeing this as an instructor here, so you're going to see the exam. And, and if you viewed the previous video about uh, practice quizzes, this is exactly the same format. So you're going to have multiple choice questions here, and you are going to answer them. This will be very similar to what you saw on your LearnSmart activities. So observing the parts of the brain is a part of the study of, and the answer would be anatomy. Now you won't get this little green arrow again. I'm the instructor, so it's showing me what the correct answer is. It tells you here that you have 40 exams. This is a timed um, exam, so they will tell you in the beginning how long you have to do this. I believe I have this set for 50 minutes. Don't quote me on that. It will tell you how long um, you will have to take this exam. So there will be a clock that's running down at the bottom of the screen. You also might want to have a clock nearby so that you know how much time you have left. Uh, usually students get a little panicked when they see a clock and they want to, uh, they, they get a little nervous. So if you set a timer for yourself, say 20 minutes into it, you know you're halfway there, uh, then that might help you to keep on track. All right, I'm going to take this back to Blackboard. And again, you can see that there are 187 questions in this pool. You are going to be getting 40 of them. Each one is worth 40 points. When you're all done with the exam, the um, score is going to dump into the gradebook. Now, don't panic if you go to your gradebook in Blackboard. And you go to your gradebook here by going to Course Tools, and you've got My Grades. When you click on My Grades, you'll see your gradebook. Your gradebook is always up to date. So everything you've completed to the, the time you look at the gradebook will be in there. Sometimes it can take a few hours for grades to transfer from Connect into the, into the Blackboard gradebook. So if you take an exam and then you go into your gradebook and you don't see it right away, don't freak out. It will show up there. Uh, you will get, when you finish the exam, you'll have the opportunity immediately to review it to see what you have missed. If there 
Is there any time you have a question about an answer, uh, you think that you might have been scored incorrectly, please tell me what question number it is in an email and I'll take a look at it. Okay, let's go back to our learning units. Oh, and by the way, in this tools area, you can also get to the discussion board from here and the journal. I've linked all of that within Blackboard so you don't have to come there. Contacts, you'll find information on my email as well as my office hours on the campus. This will take you to McGraw-Hill's website. I've linked every assignment that way so you don't have to go this way. And then your grades are here. If you'd like to do another type of my tasks rather than, you have to do the calendar, but if you would rather do, or if you would also like to do the tasks, uh, you may do that. The tasks will show up on your homepage in Blackboard. I don't, don't really recommend doing that. There's no need to. All right, let's go back to our uh, learning units. So in unit one, you have two exams. And your exams are going to be right here, right? Uh, you also will have a diagram exam. Now the diagram exams are going to be taken using, taken using Respondus Monitor. I've created a study guide. Right now I only have two of them um, ready for you. These are PDF files. So you can see that these are the things that you're going to have to know. All of these regions that you talked about in your uh, discussion board. And these diagram exams are fill in the blank. Scroll down a little further. They are fill in the blank and correct spelling is ex uh, expected. So you have to know how to spell thoracic. You have to know how to spell nucleus. You'll have to know how to spell endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes. And everything you see here, you will have to know how to spell. So this is the study guide for your first diagram exam. You can print that, and I would recommend doing that, and then you can cover up the answers and take a piece of paper and write the correct answers next, next to them. Now, when you're ready to take the diagram exam, it's going to be on all four chapters in Unit 1. So I would wait until I have taken all of the exams for Unit 1. Then I'd go back and make sure I studied my study guide before the very last thing I do in this unit, I would recommend doing the diagram exam. So when we're ready to take the diagram exam, the first thing you'll have to do is make sure that Respondus Monitor is downloaded onto your computer. Now if we go to the course information area, you'll find some information on Respondus Monitor. There's a PDF file that explains what Respondus Monitor is. Basically, like you see me down in the corner, I'm going to be seeing you, but I'll see you full face on my screen. I know that's really creepy, isn't it? But I'll see you, I'll see what's going on behind you, I can hear what's going on in the room. So make sure you're in a nice quiet place, your television is off, and that you are looking directly at the screen. So it explains how Respondus Monitor is used here. And there's also a practice, a, a monitor check to make sure things are going okay. I would do this by September the 15th. This isn't a, a requirement for the course, obviously that you have a grade, but by September 15th, if you're having problems with Respondus Monitor, we wanna get with the ed tech people to figure out exactly what's going on. Remember, you do have to download this program onto your computer. So sometimes there's some little aggravations that come with that. So how do we download that onto the computer? Well, you're going to go to this course technologies area right here on your um, navigation buttons. The course technology uh, is going to open up a, another page and it tells you exactly how to download Respondus Lockdown Browser. Okay, so there's some instructions that you can read before you download it. And then you're going to click on this link and it is going to download onto your computer. All of the campus, all the camp computers on the main campus do have Respondus Lockdown Browser. However, they might not have Monitor. Monitor means there has to be a webcam on them. If you don't have a webcam, you want to purchase a, purchase one. You can get an inexpensive webcam at uh, Staples or at Best Buy. And uh, if you are unable to do that or you have computer problems during the semester, you can go into uh, one of the learning centers on, on campus where you can 
I'll use the computer there. If you run into that kind of problem, email me and we'll see what we can figure out. So this is where you're going to download this. Download it, make sure it installs properly. And then you want to go back and take the little quiz that requires the use of Respondus. So there's that little monitor check quiz right here. You can take this as many times as, pop, as you need to to make sure everything's going all right. So when you get into Respondus, um, it's going to ask you to um, first smile for the camera. You're going to have a photo taken. Then you're going to hold your identification up to the camera. Okay? You'll hold your ID up there so that we can see uh, who you are. Make sure it's either a driver's license or it can be your student identification. Either is fine, but you need a picture ID. And then you're going to be asked to do an environment check. An environment check means that you are going to take your computer and you are going to move it around the room and you're going to show me that nobody else is in there and there's nothing down on the table in front of you. And once you do that, then you'll be ready to go. You'll start the exam. Once you're done, uh, done with the exam, you'll finish it up. And all of this information then will go into my Blackboard site and I can take a look at you taking the exam. Now, do I watch you for the entire 50 minutes, 60 minutes that you have for the exam? Oh, no, I do not. What this program looks for is for you uh, looking at the screen for typing. If you are constantly doing this, or looking over that way, or looking up this way, it suspects that you might be doing something you shouldn't be doing, like looking at some answers you might have stored somewhere else. While you are taking an exam and respond to this monitor, you may not use any textbooks, no notes, and no other electronic devices to look things up. So this is truly like taking an exam in the classroom. So when you take a a diagram exam, what you will see are those exact same diagrams, and I will ask you to identify anywhere from three to ten different items on the pictures, on the diagrams, and you are going to type the answer directly into a box. The answer has to be spelled correctly. If it's two words, both words have to be there. The computer will automatically grade it, and then immediately after you are finished, you will see your score as well as the answers and the correct answers. If you have any questions regarding the answers that you put, please feel free to contact me. Sometimes um, if you've taken anatomy and physiology before or you've used another textbook, you might have learned a different term that is in our textbook. Uh, there are other terms that are correct. I'm going with those that are in our textbook, but if you have an argument that um, a region or a particular muscle in the body does have another name. Uh, certainly I will take, take a look at it and we'll validate that. Okay, so make sure that you uh, download Respondus Monitor when you're ready to take an exam. You are going to go back here to my learning units. Okay. So for the diagram exam, you'll see it's right here under Unit 1 exams. Here's your diagram exam. It requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. So if I click on this, it will not let me begin because I am not in Respondus Lockdown Browser. All right. It says, is there a password? There is no password. You first have to open up in another window. You have to open up your Respondus Lockdown Browser. That you should, you should keep that on your desktop. Once you've opened that up, then you'll click on, oops, let's get out of that one. You'll click on Unit 1 Diagram Exam, and it will open up in the Lockdown Browser. The lockdown browser just means that you can't go to any other websites. So if you have any questions about what's going to go on in this course, I know there's a lot of information to take in the first couple of days. Please feel free to, to uh, email me. Email is the best way to get in touch with me. I answer my emails within 24 hours. Sometimes on weekends it may take a little bit longer. If I'm going to be gone for the weekend, I will let you know ahead of time. So have a, a great semester. Good luck with everything you do, and we'll see you later.